Drag Queen Story Time. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Dear Pastor Bob, in a town 30 minutes away from me, here in the southern part of the United States, that's the Bible Belt, where I live, there is a drag queen story time at a public library. A drag queen goes in and reads to children. How should Christians feel and react to this? It's a tough one, isn't it? How do we feel about it? Well, I don't feel very good about it, and I'm sure you probably don't either. There's some things that are probably not appropriate for children or for anyone. But how do I react to it? Well, in love. That's the hardest part for us because we want to be reactionary. We want to go in and blast people. We want somebody to be fired. We want to stage a protest. We want to do all of those things first. And it isn't first. You know, I guess it starts here. When we expect the world around us who aren't Christians to act like Christians, <laughs> well, it'd be nice if Christians would act like Christians, but you, you understand what I'm saying. The world doesn't have the same morals that, you know, the Bible presents. And so I'm not surprised anymore by things like this that happen, simply because it isn't the first step. The first step is getting to know Jesus and learning how to live for him. That's the important part. What about drag queens? Well, what about anybody? A, a drag queen is no different than another person on this earth who needs Jesus, who needs love, who needs understanding, who needs you. You know, uh, I've always felt like the best way to approach anything like this is to talk to the person. You know, there's a need there. There's a need for Jesus there. Um, I've not seen an organization called Drag Queens for Jesus. Of course, you never know. There are some strange groups. But I, I think there's part of that militant, uh, kind of immoral part of the, of the movement, the gay movement, that, um, that has those kinds of people. And we have them, too, in the heterosexual side that are a little out there and that are, you know, Mardi Gras shows just how, you know, how deviant people can be and other things like that, you know. I, I, I think there are problems on both sides and whichever side you're on, you're repulsed by the other side. The truth is, they just sin differently than we do, you know. We all have a need for Christ. We all need him. We all have difficulties understanding morality till we find him and we get some perspective. We all have difficulties following the Lord until the Holy Spirit comes inside of us and instructs us and guides us and kind of nudges us along and we still don't get it right. We're still sinners in need of a God. And until we find him, that's just where we stay. Again, people who sin differently than we do, people that sin differently than I do, bother me sometimes. And yet, those sins that I have bother other people equally as much, probably. You see where we're at? Folks, if we stop being militant with militant people, and we use love instead, it goes a long ways. And remember, Christ told us three things. Greatest commandment, love, love, love. Love God, love your neighbor, love yourself. And everything is based on that. That's what he told us. Everything is based on love, love, love. So, love your neighbor. <laughs> love your neighborly drag queen. <laughs> but love, love, love. And, you know, talk, it goes a long ways. 
talk about the heart. Don't let things get in the way of seeing a person in there. And talk. Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody needs a path. Everybody needs to have a, a life-transforming experience with God. God bless you. Have a great day.